I mean, chat, listen, are you guys not excited for, for Tuesday? $40 Mythic uh, Widowmaker skin that literally looks like it was supposed to be a Kiriko skin, but then you said fuck it and gave it to Widow instead. Dorado gets a staircase, Numbani gets revamped, and Havana gets a banner. Isn't that really cool, chat? Buy it? I refuse. I stopped playing this game. Why? This is literally the best game ever made. Okay. Okay, fine. Chat, give me one game that is better than Overwatch. One game. I dare you. Swords and sandals. Okay. Give me another game. That one is cheating. Overwatch 1. Okay, fine. Give me another then. Wow. Okay, fine. Give me another. Concord. Aha! It is not better than Concord because Concord no longer exists. I'm sorry, do you know? What, you, what was that? Objective lost. Stop. Shower with your dad simulator? Okay. One more then. You guys are just literally picking top tier games. Hi all. What's up, Chimmy? No one can hide. You guys are literally just picking top tier games. This is literally not fair. Genital jousting. <laughs> Dude, I think that game is actually banned off Twitch, by the way. I actually think that game is banned off Twitch. I can't imagine why. Well... So, chat, apparently genital jousting is a game about penises and buttholes, and the way to win the game is to insert your penis into an enemy's butthole. <laughs> Can't imagine why that was banned off Twitch. That is indeed how you win. See, Chad, I told you. That seems normal. I mean, considering it was allowed on Twitch to shove a microphone up your asshole and start farting for donations, I don't see why genital jousting got banned. I feel like that's a little bit uh, discrimination against the game developers, to be honest. It's actually crazy how Anna players nowadays are just rappy snapping. Alright. Time to play. I have an idea, chat. Let's play some Hanzo. Does it have a story mode or is it purely multiplayer? PvP or PvE? <laughs> Listen, man, you can buy it off Steam. I don't get it. If I play with 350 FPS, my RTX 3080 VRAM goes to 106 degrees. Rest days is 86. 
gonna be honest with you, Chief. I think it's a hover, uh, an overheating issue. And it also plays into it if you live in a country that's very warm. That plays into it as well. But a 3080 should not for any reason hit 108 degrees. That seems a little bit excessive. Even for Overwatch. Clean, clean your PC, my dude. Buy some fucking, I don't know, canned air and start spraying out that GPU. You'd be surprised how much shit is in there. I have a wife and family, please! It is not my time yet. My see my GPU temperature right now is 38 degrees. But then again, my entire computer is liquid cooled, right? It, the entire rig was just. But like, I I made the fatal mistake of buying a fucking thirteen nine. Uh, was it one hundred thirty nine hundred K? Like, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Buying a, a thirteen nine hundred K CPU was probably the biggest mistake ever. Even with liquid cooling, that shit literally will hit nineteen games. Like, I don't know. I think I think for the next next PC build I'm doing, I'm probably going with AMD, to be honest with you. Until fucking Intel sorts the shit out and stops fucking bricking people's CPUs. It's getting real fucking tiring, I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> what CPU do you recommend? At this very moment, I've always been an Intel fanboy. I've always, I've sworn by Intel for as long as I've been alive. But their 1300 series and the 1400 series have been an absolute fucking joke on the consumer. Absolute fucking joke. They, they've got to a point right now where they think more about the war between them and AMD. So they're making these incredibly powerful CPUs, but they don't care how they perform. They just want them to be really high in numbers, which they achieved. But it's really bad for your average consumer because they don't know what the fuck they're getting into. So I think it's, it's shameful. It's completely shameless that they're doing this. Because, like, if you don't know much about computers and... You have a little bit of disposable income, you want to buy like a top end PC. Yeah, people recommend you to get a 1400 series CPU. But if you don't have adequate cooling to that, you're just literally going to brick your PC. Didn't they drop a BIOS update to fix that? Yeah, but that was literally for people who haven't had their CPUs bricked. If your CPU was already bricked, they basically told you to go fuck yourself. You think that's, you think that's very friendly consumer wise? The fact that they even said that made me swap over to AMD. So my next PC build, I'm going AMD. So until they fuck up royally, I'll stick with AMD for now. I, I think it's shameless. I think it's absolutely shameless that like, a war between hardware should never get to the point where the consumer gets to suffer. And they do. They have suffered a lot. And I think that's horrible. Like, imagine some fucking kid who gets some fucking money over Christmas or some shit, wants to buy a new PC, right? And literally, their fucking CPU is bricking itself. How the fuck are they supposed to know? They don't. They have no idea. And I think that is absolutely fucked. It makes them a horrible company, chat. It really does. I mean, there are pros and cons with both, for sure, but, nah. I can't recommend them anymore. I, I just cannot recommend them. I can't. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, Juno ult seems balanced. Well, no, I'm not claiming that everyone's CPU did that. But what I'm saying is, when the fucking response from the company is TLDR, oh, your CPU bricked before we pushed out the update? Well, you're shit out of luck. If that's your fucking response, then I don't want anything to do with you and your business anymore. I'm sorry, I just don't want to. Not that it impacted me, but that should never be the default answer. You, you fix your shit. You literally fix your shit. Take responsibility for it. It's like, okay, so you're a person who spent, what, $700 on a CPU and your CPU break? You're just tough out of luck? $700? There it is? Okay, well, thank you. Like, unlucky, I guess. That's fucking 700 bucks you could have spent on something else. Nah, fuck that, dude. I'm good. Yeah, literally, it's, it's like, get fucked. Like, that's it. That is just, get fucked. Get absolutely fucking shit on. Thanks for trusting our company. How many nuggets can you get for 700? There's actually a nuggies to dollar calculator. I mean, chat, let me tell you something. I, and I know this wasn't just CPU, I know this wasn't just strictly Intel's fault, but do you guys remember Space Marine 2 when it first released? Brother, on the lowest setting, capped FPS at 90, my CPU was hitting 102 degrees and shutting itself off. I was just sitting in the fucking menu and it was just burning up. <laughs> I couldn't play the game. <laughs> like, you can't really push through that, you know? <laughs> you... It's like, what do I do? Do I sit in menu and cook a steak on my CPU? Or do I turn it off and just play it some other time? Maybe we should do a cooking stream on my CPU. Just pluck out the fucking, um, pluck out the, uh, the cooler and just throw a steak on there with some seasoning and wait for 10 minutes and boom, medium rare. So what you're saying, instead of buying a PC and an oven, I could just buy a PC with an Intel CPU. Pretty much. No, li listen. All I'm saying is I feel sorry for all the families that are like buying pre-built computers and they have like 1300 or 1400 series CPU Intel computer, sorry, uh, Intel CPU in there and their CPUs happen to be bricked and it's hitting the degrees where it obviously shouldn't and these people obviously don't know any better and it's just literally eating itself alive and they have no idea what to do. Uh, supposedly Intel didn't take responsibility for literally the first like eight months of where this was happening. So people just went on with their day thinking it was going to be a big deal, right? Well, boom. Unfortunately, since you used the computer you bought, your computer is now fucking fried and they won't replace it for you. Yeah, that's pretty fucking shitty. You're $700 down and they're not going to help you. Yeah, it sucks. It fucking sucks. And you can say what you want about AMD, but as far as I'm concerned, AMD hasn't done anything like that. So, that's why I swapped. And I, my next build is going to be an AMD CPU. End of story. Now, if AMD turns out being shit too, then yeah, maybe I'm shit out of luck. But, you know, until they fix their shit, I don't want to go with them. That's all. I feel like that makes sense. I 
feel like that's pretty reasonable. You should make your own CPU company. The fuck am I gonna do that? Chat, I struggle buying Happy Meals on weekdays. Chad, if I ran a, a, a CPU company, what would I call it? If I made a CPU company, what would I call it? No, I think I think that's just a meme. I mean, listen, I make ends meet. I can put fucking food on my table. I'm not crying over it, but dude, I not not every streamer is XQC, okay? Y'all, y'all motherfuckers need to relax a little bit. Name each CPU after an Overwatch character. I feel like that's a very great way to get sued. You should call it Chonk Systems. Chonk Systems, huh? You just call them like chunk one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like chunk one, chunk two, chunk three, etc. Or I do not wish to be feared, but to be left alone. I'm eager to see what problems Chat, we encounter Chat, you won't believe this. this you, it's time to happy pack, bro. I'm dropping the new Chunk 9. Chunk 90 series, man. It's gonna go crazy. It's gonna go on sale next week. It's gonna be $27,000. Inspiration, Soldier Boy's <laughs> console, dude. You guys remember when Soldier Boy released a console and it was just a reskin Nintendo? <laughs> Good times. He got sued big time, and he lost. <laughs> Wait, did my team lose that? We're outnumbered. We're here with the Chunk CEO ID QD, Mr. ID is to that Chunk 5090 is going to be your most powerful product made yet. Yes. And if it isn't, that'll be so sad. Can we get 10 and a half Chunk? Thank you.
Allah til Fun fact, Soldier Boy originally